Hello everyone, this is Brian Shell, PassionHero.com, author, musician, so on and so forth. I'm at my new place in Ann Arbor. I just moved recently, and I've also been learning this 11-key steel tongue drum. And so I want to give you a few tips. I want to also show you, yeah, there's my new view. Somewhere in the background, or... Um, there's a cardinal that's nesting on that on that hill. There are a few chipmunks and everything, so it's kind of a dynamic view. And anyways, but I have hurt my left shoulder. I have done some kind of injury to my left shoulder's rotator cuff. And so what do you do when you're given lemons? Make lemonade. So this is my right hand right here. using my thumb like a like a funk player a funk bass player boom but the interesting thing that i found about using one hand instead of two hands on this particular steel tongue drum instrument um is that when i hit a key and only use one hand it resonates i use my fingernails to give it a more brighter or a brighter sound and I also put my palm over it or put my fingers over it to dampen the sound now the thing is is that this has 11 keys and so like this key and over here that's a seven and a seven so that's I guess an octave or whatever you have a a one and a one or here you have a six um, let's see here. Yeah, you have a six here and a six there, and then you have a five here and a five there. Now, when you move up, you have a an ascending octave. When you go down, it's more bassy here, but you also have like So this one right here, and this seven, and this six, and this five sounds like the deepest. So anyways, if you do not look at the instrument, you learn the instrument. I'm not trying to learn to play notes to a song. I'm trying to learn to play the instrument. When you learn your instrument, you don't have to look. You just know where the keys are. So it's interesting that having this left shoulder rotator cuff injury a couple of weeks ago, um, this is May of 2022, and I think it happened in April, but it caused me to pick up a, something that I could do with my right hand. And also, this is very a relatively new instrument. It was gifted to me by my mother. I love her. <laughs> She's great. But... hand you allow the other keys to resonate instead of hitting it with the left hand if you do that you know you could dampen the sound of just a whole note you know if you have a whole bunch of like eighth notes or sixteenth notes like this that dampens the whole note of like you know a bass slap of you know boom so there we have it you know I hope that you enjoyed that Go blue. I got my master's degree in electrical engineering here at University of Michigan, 1992. And 30 years later, in 2022, I'm now living on the same street that I used to live on in Ann Arbor when I went here to grad school from September of 1990 to May of 1992 when I got a job at Hughes Aircraft and they brought a shipping company and mailed me out to Los Angeles. And boy, did Los Angeles ever change, change me. <laughs> definitely made me more of a musician. Definitely made me more of a writer. How did I become a writer? I had an idea for a screenplay. Living in Los Angeles. That happens sometimes. <laughs> so, thank you all. Uh, go Blue. Go Ann Arbor.